title, Most Integrated Setting Coordinating Council Bylaws. Article 1. Name. Section 1. This council shall be known as the Most Integrated Setting Coordinating Council, or MISCC. Article 2. Authority. Section 1. The MISCC is established pursuant to Section 702 of the New York Executive Law. Article 3. Functions, Responsibilities, and Duties of the Council. Section 1. The Council shall develop and oversee the implementation of a comprehensive statewide plan providing services to individuals of all ages with disabilities in the most integrated setting. Such plan shall include, but not be limited to. A. The number of people who are currently institutionalized, the number of people residing in the community who are dependent on the assistance of community-based services to avoid institutionalization, and any improvement necessary to be made to current data collection systems or any new data collection initiatives necessary to obtain this information. B. The current assessment procedures utilized to identify people with disabilities who could benefit from services in more integrated setting and the development of a single assessment process for people with disabilities in need of services through the use of a uniform assessment tool. C. The identification of what community-based services are available to people of all ages with disabilities in the state of New York and an assessment of the extent to which these programs are able to serve people in the most integrated setting. D. The identification of what improvements need to be made to the system of community-based services to ensure that the system is comprehensive, accessible, meets the needs of people who require the assistant to live in the community, and provides high-quality adequate support for people with disabilities. E. An evaluation of the supports and services available to assist people with disabilities who reside in their own home with and without the presence of other family members or other informal caregivers. F. An examination of how the identified community-based supports and services integrate people with disabilities into the community. G. A review of what funding sources are available to increase the availability of community-based services and an analysis of how the varied funding sources available to meet the needs of people with disabilities in the most integrated setting can be organized into a coherent system of long-term care, which affords people reasonable and timely access to community-based services. H. An assessment of how well the current service system works for different populations, including but not limited to elderly people with disabilities, people with physical disabilities, 
people with developmental disabilities, people with mental illness, and people with HIV and AIDS. and a review of changes that might be desirable to make services a reality in the most integrated setting for all populations. I, an examination of waiting lists for community-based services and what might be done to ensure the waiting lists are created and accurately maintained and that people are able to come off waiting lists and receive needed community-based services at a reasonable pace. J, an examination of what information, education, outreach, and referral systems might be useful to ensure that people with disabilities receive the information necessary to make informed choices regarding how their needs can best be met. K, an evaluation of how quality assurance and quality improvements can be conducted effectively as more people of all ages with disabilities live in community settings and L, an examination of how the overall system of health and long-term care can best be managed so that placement in the most integrated setting becomes the norm. Article 4, Membership and Composition. Section 1. 1. The New York State Chief Disability Officer, Kim Hill Ridley, shall serve as chair of the MISCC. Two, MISCC members shall include nine appointed public representatives plus NYS agency council members, including the Office of Mental Health, the Office for People with Developmental Disabilities, the Department of Health, the Office for the Aging, the Education Department inclusive of the Adult Continuing Education Services Vocational Rehabilitation, the Office of Alcohol and Substance Abuse Services, the Division of Housing and Community Renewal, the Department of Transportation, the Office of Children and Family Services inclusive of the Commission for the Blind, the Office of Temporary and Disability Assistance, and the Justice Center for the Protection of People with Special Needs. Article 4. Meetings. Section 1. 1. The MISCC shall meet as necessary to carry out its functions and duties, but such meetings shall occur at least once each quarter. 2. The MISCC must comply with NYS Open Meetings Law. Public notice of any meeting, OML Section 104, must be given at least one week before such meeting. Article 5. Procedure of Meetings. 
Section 1. 1. The Chief Disability Officer, or CDO, shall preside at all meetings. If the CDO cannot attend a meeting, the CDO shall designate another MISCC member to serve in such capacity. 2. The CDO shall designate an MISCC member to prepare the minutes of each meeting. Number three, meetings of the MISCC will be conducted according to Robert's Rules of Order. Article six, quorum and order of business. Section one, a quorum of the MISCC shall be a majority of the total membership of the MISCC A vote by a quorum of the MISCC shall be necessary for all actions of the MISCC unless otherwise stated in these bylaws. Section 2. The CDO shall prepare an agenda for each meeting of the MISCC, which shall be provided to each MISCC member at least five days before the meeting and shall include any matter requested by any MISCC member at least 10 days before the meeting. Article 7, Amending Bylaws. Section 1, Amendments. These bylaws may be amended at any meeting of the MISCC upon consent by two-thirds of the total membership of the MISCC. Provided that the MISCC members are notified in writing at least 10 days in advance of such meeting regarding the proposed amendments.